<laughs> uh, missed. Oh, I hit, but I kind of missed. This is Brad Sharpens Best.com. Uh, down here in Denver, you know, out in the woods, um, you know, we had a project that we started two or three weeks ago. Might have been a month ago now. Time goes pretty fast. Um, for me, it does. And so anyway, this is a project that I'm going to work on. The company uh, sent us, every now and then we get sent things, knives, stuff, to review, to look at. Um, <laughs> this one was a little bit complex. And uh, it, it has screws. Um, it has a sheath that you can take off, take apart, rearrange, uh, turn it into a pocket uh, clip and a belt clip, things like that. So now I'm gonna look here for just a minute. Um, oh, we got our Denver Magazine for slicing. Uh, you know, we always gotta do that. And um, here's a cloth, it's a Hydra is the name of the knife. And I don't know exactly what this is. Um, if it's a carrying bag, uh, it, might be a carrying bag it's upside down um hydra is that right side up mr cameraman yes it is i can't actually see it okay um hydra is the name and uh knives are their game haha -ha. um and so we have a carrying bag kind of a nylon ish well maybe cotton uh bag smooth whatever it is and let's see what else we got here Oh, that's right. We have a Hydra hat. And um, who knows, maybe we'll give it away on our website. Or if you want the hat, be the first one. Uh, $11.95 on the website coming right up uh, a day or two. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. And buy the hat. And uh, it's a nice hat. Um, it'll be uh, cool in the, in the summertime. All right. So... Okay, that's that. And we'll put the hat over here, put the carrying bag there. And um, I, I imagine that's probably, well, I don't know what it is. Let's look and see. Um, that's a little screwdriver bit uh, here for taking the tool apart or the, the carrying case apart. And this is probably a leg strap. Um, it could be a neck knife. Uh, things like that and I have not looked at this at all um, right now I'm looking at getting the knife out of the sheath and it's tight there let's look okay that will come out Ooh, that's pretty um, so we have uh, a nice knife it's about six and a half inches overall it's got a little uh, octagon what is uh, six-sided uh two four six-sided octagon or hexagon i don't know whatever the stop sign's not <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny um and then uh we do have a phillips screwdriver bit and that actually fits in the knife like this Okay, and then we can use it to take the sheath apart. So let's do that. If I drop one of these screws, we'll have to come back and find it with a big magnet. So we unscrew that. The screws weren't tight, so all I got to do now is take the bit out of the knife. Put the knife back here for a minute. Use the bit. To unscrew the sheath and uh, totally unscripted I try to do this stuff just like it would if it comes to your house and you got to open it up and you got to go huh what, what's all this you know how, how does this work so it would be basically the same thing but yet on the other hand I don't want to make a you know 20 minute deal out of this uh, although people actually tell me make longer videos <laughs> it's kind of funny um, all right come on I do not want to drop the screw all right why is 
is it fighting with me? There is a little backer on there, and I didn't know that, so there might already be one of these little pieces missing. Just like, shit, there's lots of parts to it. Um, and I don't see the other two. There's a spacer, uh, and in the back of the, like a, like a long nut that the screw screws into. So I imagine there's already a couple of pieces down there. Um, the company that sent this to me is probably going to laugh, like, wow, I don't want that guy helping us again. <laughs> uh, this is probably something that we should have done over the table so that pieces that fall out uh, go on the table. Um, tip it up here. This is... I, I guess I could honestly say that me personally, I wouldn't be taking this apart and putting it back together very much. Uh, Alright, hang on. <laughs> if the parts fall, maybe they'll fall in the box. I'm going to take this one off. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're out in the wood, tell you what guys, this is probably a really good deal. Do it at home before you leave and get out in the woods. If your fingers are a little bit cold, um, if there's a little wind, some stuff going on, a little snow, whatever, uh, you better get back in your vehicle, get back in your tent, get back in your shelter or something because this isn't going to be much fun and if you don't find the little screwdriver bit after you drop it, um, then you're just SOL and uh, you're not going to get anything done. So, okay, we're just about to get this one. There's another screw. There goes another spacer. And uh, let's get one more here now. Um, I, I just would have to say I would probably figure just a little bit different way to put this together honest to gosh guys um, this wouldn't be no it won't fall out there it went so we got one more screw to take out there's a screw then the sheath then a spacer then on the inside you have these almost like a rivet where the screw screws into and trying to put this back together, I'm telling you right now, I, I don't know if this one will ever get put back together unless somebody else buys it and puts it back together. You know what? I think I'm going to sell this knife as a basket case, okay, uh, on the website. And um, whoever buys it can put it back together. Uh, now the little pieces are stuck in between. Maybe it'll fall out. There's two of them in there. There it went. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I'm fighting. Oh, there's another one. Are you kidding me? Actually, that's a long bar. All right screws go through there they actually go through the sheath they go through some holes you put the spacers on there you have to put these almost like a rivet with a screw hole in it and then you got to keep them all lined up while you screw the screw in to the nut that kind of looks like a rivet on the back and then, uh, I don't even know if I'm smart enough to figure this out. There's... I know it's it's got to... Oh, there it goes. This actually clamps around your belt. So, and that's 
that's good if you fall in the river you fall down a long bank you're up in alaska you tumble you fall you tumble you fall um you know and then you fall in the river i i'm pretty sure this would all still be with you after you maybe got out of the river because of the way it's made because of the way it clamps on your belt uh because of the the tightness and the um way uh that the knife actually fits in the sheath and that's pretty good there um i'm gonna have to discover i don't see any maybe the instructions are in there yeah okay this little thing on the back here of the pummel of the knife by the way there's also uh bolt head nuts uh cut into the handle so that you can use it it's got these like nylon rings on there and I see that unscrews, so let's see if we screwed it in tight by hand like that. Not really sure why you would want that on there. There's something, un you know, lash point underneath, I think. It does unscrew out of the back. More little pieces. Okay, and you can actually drop that out of the hole if you don't want the hole. Um, so you can unscrew it and unplug the hole in the pummel and now you have I don't know some people you know probably you know fighting knives you leave it on your finger you do stuff with it I, I don't use knives like that at all have no idea uh, you know I've seen people at blade at the blade show with their fingers in the knives you know so that they can use them that way I don't do that so I'm not educated in that at all um, there's quite a bit to it and then to put this back together I'm just gonna look at it here a little bit that snaps okay then this is a lock that's what that is so you undo the lock you push in and then open it up okay it's getting easier because I'm getting familiar with what I'm even doing you know so you would put this around your belt Okay, the knife is out on this side. Squeeze it together, reach underneath, lock it so it can't come apart. So if you want to use it, you unlock it, okay? Squeeze and open it up. So yeah, it's getting better, it's making more sense um, naturally, but there are a lot of little parts to this thing. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna take this on this end, take the knife out, let the magazine fall, okay? And then I'm gonna hold them together like this, let you see um, all the little parts. And I still haven't looked at this yet. There's a couple of straps. Um, it's, it's never a good idea to look at the instructions first, guys. <laughs> All right, there's uh, two little straps in here and an Allen wrench. So this that I took out of the hole in the handle in the pummel <coughs> has an Allen screw in it, so maybe you can tighten that down a little bit instead of just finger tight. That's probably what that is all about. Um, I don't know, let's, uh, I'm not figuring that out real easy, what these two straps are for. So let's just take a quick look at the destructions. Okay, they're not destructions at all, they're actually a business card and then uh, a patch that you can sew onto your coat with Velcro, so this onto your coat, then you've got your Hydra patch that you can put on there so sharpensbest.com hydra knives this is brad fumbling through <laughs> uh, a review a second time around i i think it's going to be a good deal i think it'll clip onto your belt good the knife is in the sheath good it's made well uh, it's not cheap by any means um, it's a pretty good looking knife uh, I think we'll play with it a little bit not much but a little bit um, I just kind of want to actually see uh, actually that's that's plenty sharp um, 
that's actually pretty hard. It's not hardwood, don't get me. Uh, don't, don't think that I'm calling this hardwood, but it is hard, old, dry, dead wood. But that knife is rolling the shavings off of there pretty good. Um, if you were going to try to chop something, you know, you, you just kind of sling it like this. And uh, it actually chops pretty good on little stuff. It's solid enough that you could probably baton it through small wood, um, you know, to make some little kindling. Um, so anyway, it's pretty good knife. It's Hydra. It's called a buzzard. Uh, it's about six and a half. Let's see, four and a half, five, seven. That nah, blade might be about seven inches long. Um, so anyway, there's across my hand. Uh, pretty cool. It's got some tools in it. Um, stainless steel, I'm sure. Uh, hex. Okay, it says hex on there. So, yeah, six-sided is hex, not octagon. All right, this is Brad BradSharpensBest.com. Uh, you know, go to our website. You know, maybe we'll leave this one in the box, like I said, let you put it back together, and we'll sell this knife. And... Um, uh, you know let you buy it off our website go to the website read the comments below see what we say about we sell it and how much and it, uh, it's just first come first serve if you really not like the knives maybe we'll carry them from Hydra uh, put them on the website this is Brad Buckner sharpensbest.com you take care and stay sharp out there